Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this channel, this is the platform where we look at the soul energies, love, and relationship connections between some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. If you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for helping in its continued growth. In this reading, we are going to be doing a 2022 forecast for the uh, most voted on couple, which is Justin and Haley Bieber. Um, this is my fourth Oh, well, actually my fifth 2022 forecast video, but it's the first of the couples. Um, and so I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently than I did the previous ones. Um, we are going to be pulling some energy cards to look at the season and the general themes of the year. Um, but in previous readings, I had it split up with uh, life and love, and I'm not going to have it split up like that. I'm going to do this more like a traditional uh, reading uh, for couples on my channel and just include the energy cards to start off with. So let's get right into it. This reading is for Justin and Haley Bieber for 2022. Stardust. Shielding. Direction. <clears throat> Resistance. And at the bottom of the deck, third eye chakra. Okay, so we have a 41, which is a 5, 4, 6, a 9, and a 2. So lots and lots of major life lessons in 2022. So let's pull some tarot. This reading is for Justin and Haley Bieber. Ace of Wands with the Chariot, Seven of Wands with the Nine of Cups, the Devil with the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Discs, the Ace of Cups with the Eight of Swords, the Empress with the Ten of Discs and the Princess of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And I'm just going to pull a couple of clarifiers. is coming through my solar plexus chakra on this one because my stomach hurts king of discs strength tower four of discs okay and then the sun at the bottom of the deck okay i just felt intuitively that more cards needed to be pulled out there is a lot going on in 2022 for justin and Haley bieber um let's start off with <clears throat> under stardust so there is an aspect of this connection between the two of them um that is very passionate and i feel like in a in my previous reading of theirs that came out as true as well um but with it coming under stardust the ace of wands and the chariot 
Um, I think that there is an aspect of uh, wonderlust, uh, I, I feel like is the word that I want to use um, in this relationship that has um, steered it, the cherry in reverse, in a way that is sort of like away from the truth. Um, like the passion of the Ace of Wands um, is under the cloak of stardust. So it's like when you're in the dark and you look up and you see all these bright stars that are like leading the way, like you have to understand that you're still in the dark. And so a lot of times it's like looking at the relationship through rose colored glasses where it's like, no, I'm only going to look up and look at the stars and look at everything that's shining and look at everything that's burning. But underneath the surface, um, this cherry in reverse, it's like there's a disconnect that's there. And when we move forward in the reading under shielding, we have the seven of wands. Um, which is uh, coming off as like defensive energy and the nine of cups. So it's like, I don't want to admit that there is, that there are flaws that exist within this connection. And so there's a lot of shielding that is happening on both sides where like, I'm going to hide how I truly feel. And if I do that, then I don't have to face the fact that there may be some challenges in this relationship that I don't want to admit to. Because for some reason, again, like going back to like that wanderlust kind of perception, it's like there aren't supposed to be problems. Everything is supposed to be blissful. Um, this is supposed to be Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Um, and so because I have this lens um, that I'm looking through things with, I don't want to accept that the security um, that I project may not be what is truly underneath the hood. And what I also think is interesting is we have 41 for Stardust, which is five, so that's conflict. Um, and then we have shielding, which is a 13, which is a four, and that's security and stability. And so with the conflict of the five, it's like, there's a lot of defensiveness around the security and the stability of the relationship, which then moves forward in the connection and under direction, we have the devil and the queen of discs. And I wanted to pull some clarifiers for that because it is talking about two things. It's talking about a very impassioned connection between two people in the 3D with the devil. It is talking about that. It's also talking about misdirection. In a, in a sense that there are some misaligned, the word that's coming to my mind are agendas, but I mean in the sense that like priorities are misaligned, where the queen of discs is not necessarily going in the same direction in the relationship as the king of discs. We have the king and the queen coming out, which is also speaking to this connection, um, being strong between the two of them, like they're they need to come to a general consensus about the direction of this relationship. Are we going to start having a family soon? Which I get, like, I feel um, intensely felt by one of the partners more so than the other one. Like, I want to start having a family soon. And I almost feel like that's more so coming from Justin, I want to say. Like, kids and maybe, like, Haley is not necessarily there yet. Like, there's resistance. So we... um in the literal sense <laughs> where we have um, resistance coming out here, which is a 45, which is completion um, because the 45 reduces to a nine. So uh, while there is great love, Ace of Cups, and you know what? I know for a fact that that had to have come out. Something about great love came out in their previous reading. I have to go back and look. While there is a great love, there is a sense of feeling stuck and there's resistance in this relationship because like I said, directions are misaligned. And ultimately, under this nine energy um, is going to be an, an upheaval moment where a decision gets made in 2022. But luckily, the decision that's getting made um, will come through the third eye chakra. It will come through. Uh, it's going to be a collaborative choice um, under this two energy. It's not going to be one sided. Um, and whatever the decision is, is ultimately going to create security for both parties and there will be happiness. Um, 
there will be a restoration of like self-confidence because whatever this conflict is that is occurring between the two of them has bruised the self-confidence of one or, or of one or both of them um, in their relationship with respect to the longevity. But with the Princess of Swords coming out, um, it's going to be resolved and they're both going to end up happy with the resolution. But it doesn't come until after this major upheaval. So let's pull some more tarot and go deeper into the tower card. Four of Swords, the Five of Discs, the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Princess of the Prince of Wands or the Knight of Wands with the High Priestess, the Princess of Discs with the Lovers. Okay. And then the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, no matter okay, so I feel with these, these four over here, these four, these four, with these four, this is Justin's energy. This conflict saddens him. I do think that he's ready to move on in life in a way that perhaps Haley is not ready for. There's still a lot of maturing that she needs to do on her behalf with the Knight of Wands coming out um, and a lot of like inner self work that she needs to do because she still has a lot of desires. Um, it's still ever strong to like be in this connection um, with the lovers coming out with Justin. But I feel like it's almost like career. Like she may not feel like in 2022 that she's ready to um, not like focus on maybe some things that have more to do with her and less to do with starting a family. And at times it's something that he can internalize and make it seem like it's a personal failure on his behalf because they're not doing certain things that he wants to happen in the timeline that he thinks that they should be happening in their relationship. And so he can kind of get stuck in like lamenting in that place and um, needs to come to a place of peace and understand like divine timing. Divine timing is super, super important um, with these matters in their relationship. But there may just be like some, just some sad moments because, um, and not even to sound a type of way, like he's used to getting what he wants, but, um, he doesn't like whenever they don't feel like they're on the same page. It's just like one of those sore things where it's like, I don't like to fight. I don't like to be on opposite ends of any issue. But it's growing pains. It's like that kind of stuff that just needs to happen. <clears throat> Specialness. 52 which is reduces to a seven so yep he needs to reflect and understand that there's nothing that gets taken away from the sacredness of this relationship because something isn't happening in the timing that you wish it should it's still special it's still love it's still happiness there's it's still ten of cups energy there's still joy and you have to embrace that specialness but you also have to have um flexibility within yourself about how things happen and sort of release that control balance and then for her yeah it needs to come into like an inner balance high priestess within herself and 44 reduces to an eight um infinity like what goes out come what what goes out must come back you know what i mean like she just needs to feel in balance within herself before she can make some of these next steps and then the hero's journey at the end of uh at the bottom of the deck 11 so uh which is also speaking to the int intuition um soul journey um the journey of self-love um the journey of self-actualization and self-realization whereas for justin for him it feels like it's coming from more of a place of um uh self-acceptance and um 
managing what is perceived as self-defeat. And then from Haley's perspective, it's more of uh, what is perceived as accomplishments. Uh, what is it that makes me feel whole as a person? And ultimately what both of these lessons are doing for, for them as individuals is creating more happiness and stability at home. If you enjoyed this reading, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments and what readings you would like to see next. You can connect with me at Official Chinez on TikTok and Instagram, both of which are linked below. Um, if you wish to donate to the growth of this channel, you can find information on how to do that in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.